All right, howdy guys. In my sandwich, we're getting ready. Shipment of trays coming in. We're pretty excited. This is version three of our new trays. So we're gonna get them unloaded, show you how they go, give you our review, our honest opinion. Sandwich is good too. Oh, he's bringing the first ones. So this is our third year of making these trays. So here is our first pallet of the new. They got the big pallets, but they got this one nice little small pallet. Yeah, they're looking good. So they're the darker color, so it's easier for us to tell. We just want to look at these first ones for a second. If it's not perfect, we're going to send them back. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, Woo, look at that. We got a nice seal on it. The stainless steel looks good. Yeah. And so what they did, this is our third year of making these trays. And each year we find something that's not good enough. And then we have to start all over again. But one of the problems that we have is that the, around, this, around the top wasn't tight enough and the bees would crawl out. And so they've made it quite a bit tighter. And then when we, when we would stack them crossways, then these side walls would bend on us and sometimes our whole stacks would fall over. But so they've added, they made it thicker and then they added more support pillars on all, all in this wall to try to give us the strength. When we have really high quality bees, it's not a problem um, because then you have less dead material. But when we're trying to work with not as many li lower live counts, we have to fill these trays right full and they were, and they were failing on us. But I like that new color. Yeah, that would be sweet. And they look awesome. And then look great. What, what does that say? <laughs> TNT pollination. TNTpollination.com. Got it. Okay, tell us to bring one. We'll start unloading. Oh, yeah, this is the big deal. The tray is, is molded by one company and then it's sent to another company that assembles the stainless steel screens and melts them into the tray. I don't like the back. But this little one you probably want out of the way for now. Big ones at the back. Because that one we'll use first. So you can throw it way back over there. Because we got all these big stacks. This is the bottom. Tasha's got the top, so let's see. Oh. So yeah, we're just trying to determine whether we think they're tight enough. That notch needs to be deeper. Like that push. And that's the problem. That's the way the industry is, so we don't adjust that one. We, but we did do it on this one so that when we're stacking, see this notch is deep. So when we're just stacking them for air, like when we start incubating, there's no bottoms, we do this. And so that's, that's the part we can control. We got all that air venting so that the air can flow through and get to the bees, especially for temp when we need to heat them up or cool them down. Because you heat them up to get them going and then once they're really going, they start producing heat and then they can get too hot. Then we have to turn on the air conditioning to keep them around that 30 degrees. That's really nice though. Like oh yeah, no, those are super tight. Yeah, they're, they're, they're locked in. Very, very cool. I love the color. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely confident of the strength. This almost seems wider. Am I crazy? It just seems like they open this up more. No? Yeah, I don't know. That's what it's been? I think so. Uh, we can look at an old one. So this is our first iteration. See, there's no support beams anywhere here. And on the outside, 
it like it, the it has a double. It has this like it's so this there's that lip there. So then they've increased the thickness of the whole wall to come out, and then they've added all these pillars. So this was our very first prototype. These these are kind of interesting. See these ribs that are in here. That these That's ribs are in there so that they can melt that. That's, That's just the bonding strip for the stainless steel to melt into. So they have to add material so that when they put the heat on that there's some material to grab it. And then this, so now they, they have built up our wall a couple of times, right? You see, you see right here, this, this, this whole thing has gotten thicker and thicker. And I just, I just don't know if they can add any more thickness. We're getting so close. So let's look at this one in there. How loose is that? Yeah. It was just too loose. We were getting bees crawling out of here. Maybe, maybe, it's... maybe the bees aren't going to... Yeah, we're better. Yeah, yeah. We're definitely better. We've gotten... I was hoping that it would kind of feel tighter, but... Um, it's like another millimeter. But that's nice. Too. It's good to see the comparison. Yeah. Like, okay. And then you see, the, the, see these, this stuff? There was only one in here before, so they added this big rib in here. And that's, remember this whole side wall was giving out on us. That first year was a disaster. They all fell down. Oh. Anyway, full of bees, you're incubating, you open the incubator and look inside and all these towers of bees are slouching. Anyway, and then last year we had still a little bit of slouch with this iteration, this guy here. and. But then, and, and they had added that already, and those two. Now they've added two more ribs. It used to be just two, now there's four ribs. And the side wall is thicker. It's gotta, be, it's gotta be close, man. It's comforting. Yes, to see how much has changed from year one. And so it's, you know, there's a full back and forth, and then this way. And then we go to this one. Got tighter on It definitely got tighter. End to end, we still had too much. And so now you, you know, just a very slight rattle there. Yeah, and side it's, to side so yeah, we're, but I think we'll push them to try to get another couple thousandths of an inch on the, cause we, and I think if you get, I think as we tray up, if you try different batches of the bases, some are gonna be tighter than others. It's just plastic. They aren't exactly the same. But I would rather have to, a little bit than to be like, yeah. you know, bees escaping, right? Mm. Anyway, so did you see how strong these are? Uh, I felt them a little bit. No, but like, you can you can stand on them. Yeah? You can throw them. Okay, watch out, Tosi. Oh yeah, so you can throw the tray. And you can stand on it. Stand this way. Yeah, like, so you can bang it, and they don't break. But the other trays that we're replacing, they break. You throw them up in the air, it, they're like 10 pieces. Throw it. Whoa, it didn't break. Now do you want to stand on it? It's like a trampoline, it does not break. What happens is the bees get hanging onto the screen, and so you just want to tap it out gently so the bees fall out, or hard so they'll fall out, but the other ones you can't do that, they break. So these ones are fan stinking tastic. Woo!